Hi, Wycliffe Barrett here, x -Plane Dedicated, here in the x -Plane Dedicated headquarters. I'm going to do a vlog, vlog of EFAS, which means I'm actually vlogging. <sighs> Okay, so this is EFAS, um, and this is what it looks like, you know, when you've opened it up, and it's just the map. All the little blue aeroplanes that you can see everywhere, that is uh, real-time aircraft. It links into VATSIM, or IVAO, if you're on IVAO network, and uh, it produces the uh, online traffic almost immediately. So here you can see we're over the UK, uh, Ireland, and a bit of Northern France, Belgium, etc, etc. And um, this data, or the maps that you see, come from OpenStreetMap. So let me just zoom in here. I'm going to zoom in on Cardiff, okay? So immediately, as soon as you zoom in, you get different levels of detail. This is almost like ordinance street maps. Uh, so here we go. Just moving in. Uh, where's Cardiff? There's Cardiff. They're just going straight in, straight in. And the more, the closer you get, the more detail you see, and you see buildings. So the brown bits, the brown things, are buildings. Okay. So these are buildings, and here we are. Uh, let's find the Millennium Stadium. So there's the Millennium Stadium, and uh, this would be where's Cardiff Castle? Cardiff Castle will be. <laughs> You'd think I'd know Cardiff by now, wouldn't you? There is Cardiff Castle. Sorry. So Cardiff Castle in the middle. All right. So this is the level of detail that you get. And all of these roads here, because this is open street maps, all of these roads and streets are depicted in X-Plane because X-Plane gets its data from open street maps. Okay. So that is where we're getting some of the data from, from for EFAS. Up here, you'll see that we've got a whole row of buttons. Um, with different things. I'm right at the top. We've got file, edit, view, map, maintenance, tools, ultra WX, extras, and telex. In fact, telex is flashing red because once you open EFAS, it connects to its own servers. And we have a telex system here where we can write to anybody in the world. You'll notice somebody has already written there uh, in Spanish. They obviously haven't read the manual because the manual says, please use worldcom, world.com there for in English, okay, English language only, it says it there. You can set up your own channels if you want, you can set up your own channels, tune to new frequency, create your own channel and just chat amongst your buddies if you wish. Anyway, so that's uh, what, what that is, the telex flashing, okay. So you've got file, so same new flight plan, uh, aircrafts, dispatchers, settings, etc, etc. Uh, copy current route to clipboard, uh, toggle left tabs, map, maintenance, tools, Ultra WX, I'll tell you about that because that's really important. There's some extras here, there's autopilot, convert units, template, evaluation, recorder, so forth and so on. There's masses of stuff. And then here, you've got a lot of, a lot of what was up here is replicated here. Okay. You've got FCOM, so you can put in documents, you know, FCOM documents. I haven't got any in. I used to have some in. So you can put all, all documents in for all the aircraft, you know, different manuals, etc.
Um, buddies, this is where your buddies are. There's a couple of people here. It says Benny's online. I'm, I'll have to check that out because uh, he's supposed to be ill. Uh, and there's an editor here. Now this editor is really cool. Let's let's scroll in on Cardiff Airport. Okay, so as you can see here at Cardiff Airport, there's a number of stands. Stands are numbered. Yeah, these are all accurate. I put them in as per charts. And over here we've got general aviation. Uh, there's uh, no GA stands. Okay, so if I click on the editor, yeah, you can add taxiway descriptions or edit ARTCC sector files. Okay, so we find Cardiff, EGFF. So I've just clicked on Cardiff over here. We zoom in, yeah, to Cardiff. I go into edit mode. Yeah, so I'm in edit mode now at Cardiff, which we search for. And if I come to the GA apron here and put in, say, put a, a, a taxiway name label there. If I put GA1, oops, GA1, and click OK, there's general aviation one for a tack for a, a stand, so that's GA one there, and that will go into the editor, right? So when I come out, yeah, click on save, all right. So save DGFF and add it to eFast Cloud. Restart eFast to reload the changed files. If I was to restart eFast, yeah, not only would all these stands be here, which I put in previously, but GA one would be there also, yeah. So, you know, you can actually edit things. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I've got to remember how to close this down now. Ooh, let's make sure I close the right thing. So if I press that. Yeah, there we go. That's closed. Okay. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that GA1 hasn't appeared there. But if I was to restart EFAS, it would appear. So that's one thing. Okay. What we're going to do, what I'm going to show you is how to create a flight plan in EFAS. Okay. Not forgetting down here we've got lots of buttons down here. It's auto zoom, that is centers on your aircraft. You've got a red rotate map. So you can rotate the map around which is a bit awkward. Auto zoom. You've got night time there, so you've got night time all the aircraft become yellow. Uh, what have we got here? We've got map surface, we can change it to a schematic view. And change it. Oops. Change it to a satellite view. Yep. If you zoom in, of course, it, you know it's a proper satellite view. It's uh, Google Earth, I think, or Google Maps, but very highly detailed. You know, that's really good detailed stuff. Okay. So, uh, very, very good. Oh, that's towards Swansea. <laughs> Lost my way a bit. Okay. Uh, where were we? We're on views, weren't we? So we can have detailed view, which is that one, or you can have geographic view which is that one. Obviously most people tend to use detail view. All right so let's get back over to Cardiff. Here we go. <coughs> so how do we create a flight plan and how do we get it into our aircraft? Well uh, several ways. Um, easiest way is quite simply going up to the top here and clicking on new. Okay new. Now you'll notice that uh, there's a Jar Design A320 there. Uh, that is one of my aircraft. But also, there are lots of aircraft in here. Yeah. So there's X-plane aircraft. There's PMDG aircraft, and you can actually add to that. You can add to that if you wish. You can, you can do a VFR plan. You can do a Navid. Yeah. Whatever. So there's my flight number, easy two three zero two, and we'll go from Cardiff. So EGFF to let's say um, LTBA which I believe is Istanbul I might be wrong uh, hang on let's let's find some way that we know we'll go to LGAV Athens all right so from Cardiff to Athens all you have to do is click on compute or you can go to root databases and see what they offer you all right so you can go to ASA link root finder IVA or root database, VAT root, VAT aware, or even the root cloud. Okay, 
so you can go to root databases or you can like, create a custom one or you can even paste one in from somewhere else you know maybe you found something on Google or your friend had one and you could just paste it in but let's try the compute so you click on compute and um, almost immediately I mean that was really quick it brought the root in so it's so Alvin Lima 9 Biggin Begar Rezia etc etc that's amazing but not only that it's already checked the weather for Cardiff and it's determined that it's a runway 12 it's even put in the SID for you so it's runway 12 Alvin 1 Bravo it's decided what the arrival is in to uh, Athens based on weather so it's 03 left uh, there's the start runway 03 less and it's a Astor, Astor 1 Charlie okay so it's done all that for you so you click on save right the route comes over on the left hand side here in the panel yeah with all that information distance direct 1406 nautical miles distance RTA route 1516 obviously because it's a route not and here it is here's the route look at this okay so from Cardiff all the way down to Athens is superb and not only that let's put the star in so that's the Alvin 1 Bravo Alvin 1 Bravo runway 1 2 yeah and if we look to Athens it's put in the route here but if you want to check if you really want to check what you can do I'll come back over here with you you go up to procedures here because this is now lit up click on procedures you've got the Cardiff SIDS and the Athens procedures so SIDS we know it's an Alvin 1 Bravo we'll click on that and it highlights it in red there you are that's the Alvin 1 Bravo <laughs> cannot go wrong let's go down here to Athens 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 where are we Athens a long way where's Athens gone there we go go down here to Athens yeah it's the Astor 1 Charlie so we go to procedures stars it's runway 3 left 3 left Astor 1 Charlie there we are and it's highlighted in red the Astor uh, the Astor 1 Charlie is just this bit here and then straight in you know that is amazing okay now then this is the real interesting bit all right, this is really interesting bit not only have we got our information here okay there's a rough timetable scheduled off blocks etc it's a four hour 59 might four hour 59 minute flight uh, there's no ATIS available this is all the nearby ATC so that's all ATC that's online at the moment yeah you've got a section there to put notes in so you can write anything you want in there hang on there you go so you can write notes in about your flight okay go back to that now then let's let's have a look at this this is where it gets really good click on map flight plan here you go you got your flight plan all the information yeah flight plan was prepared etc etc and you can print this off go up to there uh, print you can print it off you can save it as a PDF yeah look at that everything you want there you can even put your name in there you can print it off and put your captain in there etc etc you've got your fuel and payload so it's put everything so from Cardiff to Athens distance to destination uh, ETE estimated time en route 459 taxi out fuel APU fuel en route fuel uh, constraint fuel reserve static reserve release fuel so you've got all your fuel which is absolutely brilliant uh, this is the best bit weather okay so you can look at the weather this is a, a satellite weather image which is real time okay so this came down at 12:15 UTC Friday 28th of November so that's the weather yeah you've got winds aloft you've got significant weather over the over the European uh, basin so there's there's uh, UK uh, Spain Italy and Greece yeah okay hang on so you've got uh, weather for your flight so that's all in the weather from that infrared yeah 
you've got no towns North American tracks well we don't need to worry about North American tracks if we're going down to uh, you're going down to Athens in Greece and you've got your route details so the time on uh, the latitude and longitude uh, heading and bearing onto each waypoint you've even got a passenger list okay passenger list look at that that's incredible it creates passengers for you yeah so we've got uh, passenger 49 is uh, Caitlin Stennett a uh, uh, 17 year old female Hey, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now then, this is your logbook, and this is the important part of this. Right, this is where all your flights are. Okay, so uh, here's the flight that uh, we just created: Easy Two Three Zero Two, Cardiff to Athens. And below that is a flight that I did this afternoon: Easy Two Three Zero Two, uh, Birmingham to Tromsø in uh, Norway, Northern Norway, Tromsø to Nor. Uh, Birmingham to Tromsø, Northern Norway, and uh, it tells me I completed that. Yeah, There's some of these are on route, I didn't complete them or cancelled, but those are your routes, and they're there. And the routes are there, you see. Brilliant. And then over here, you can put charts in. You can actually put charts into EFAS and call them up at any time. Um, so there we are. I put those charts in for Naples, Italy. I can call them up and have a look at them. Um, and it's all within EFAS, yeah? So that's all within EFAS. Let's find out that. So, how do we get this into our aircraft? Well, we could type it in by hand into the FMC using the, the, the flight plan there, or we can export it. Export it directly into your FMC or into your aircraft, should I say. So, this takes a little bit of setting up, okay? What you have to do it says here double click items to set the export path so basically you have to browse for your aircraft first of all you have to browse for your aircraft and ensure that your aircraft is highlighted here you see that I've got four paths because these are the aircraft that I use the most okay so the flight factor 757 the jar design a320 yeah the Ramses 777 professional and then X-Plane flight plans, so FMS plans, which means then that I can use these plans in any of the X-Plane aircraft using the default FMC in those aircraft. And I know it's a little bit complicated. I could even send it to Squawk Box or Batsim. I can pre-file you know, to Squawk Box, which is fairly handy. And then there's some uh, PMDG, you know, uh, iFlies and etc. etc. Okay. So, I click on export. This is this plan here. All right, this plan here. And, and where they're going to, I don't know whether I can show you this problem. There might not be enough room. I can't make this box any bigger, I'm afraid. But where they're going to is, for example, um, in X plane, um, the 757 is going aircraft, commercial airliners, flight factor, Boeing 757, plugins, 757 avionics. So it's going into that path because that's where the where the flight plans are kept. Avionics routes, yeah, for the 757. For the jar design, it goes to aircraft, commercial airlines, A320 flight plans, triple seven, world line of professional plugins, T7 avionics routes. So you've got to make sure you get the path right. Okay, so once you've got the path right, it's not a problem. You just click on export. Watch this export complete that they've all turned green so what that means is that that flight plan has been sent to those aircraft yeah so that when I get into those aircraft in the FMC in those aircraft I can just call that route up I can just type into the FMC uh, EGFF LGAV and call the route up and it'll be bang into my um, FMC and that is it it's simple it really is so simple but there is so much else on here that I think I might even have to do a part two video as we're running at 17 minutes 40 seconds now uh, and I've only kind of scratched the surface of EFAS so I might do a part two I might do a part two later on what do you think so that's how you plan the route it's really straightforward and it's how you get it into your aircraft so there's two ways you can type it in manually or you can export it um, and when you first get EFAS and you're setting it up, the manual is so easy. I didn't even use the manual, though. 
I never used the manual. It's so easy. It's so intuitive. You cannot go wrong. So, I hope that helps. And uh, I'll do a part two where I show you all the other little bits. Okay? Whew. See you soon, guys.